What first comes to you when you think of biodiversity? Ecology, multiple species, or environment conservation? We rarely connect it to modern agriculture, which is monoculture and an artificial ecosystem, right? But what if I tell you there is a mutual beneficial relationship between these two? This idea, agrobiodiversity, is nothing new. For decades, people try to dig out the potential of wild species for crop improvement. Wild species are valuable genetic resources since they have been widely adapted to a various environment, even the harsh ones. The problem is, it is difficult for us to avoid detrimental impact from wild species to the crops, which means wildly interspecific uh, hybrids. They inherited those useful traits like disease resistance or stress tolerance from wild parents. It is inevitable that some undesirable traits like lower yield or poor quality of grain would be passed on as well. So my PhD aims to solve this problem in lentil, which is one of the most important crops in Saskatchewan, by developing an efficient system to utilize the use of wild species in lentil. Our strategy is we first cross lentil with wild relatives to create an interspecific population. So we are able to collect those segregation phenotypes among the lines in the population. And then comes genotyping part. Thanks for the improvement of next generation sequencing technology. Nowadays, we are able to sequence the whole genome of each line in the population in order to detect the single nucleotide difference among the individuals. So according to this sequence difference, we can design molecular markers and use these markers, we can create an interspecific genetic map. So combining those phenotypes with genotypes, we are able to link molecular markers to the traits of our interest in order to predict and select the desirable hybrids. So through our work, gene banks with, with those germplasm collection, they are no longer museums, but treasure troughs of precious genetic resources. Agriculture can help conserve biodiversity, while it's also benefiting from a wilder genetic base of selection. So together, we can create a future of sustainable food production system. Thank you.